Hello everyone, welcome to this new video and today I'm gonna show you how to do this Yeah, that looks neat And you don't have to be an animator to do this like you don't maybe when you see the animations like in Pixar's or yeah, the Disney animations and stuff like that, Warner Brothers. You think that it's really complicated because they draw every single frame. And yeah, that's true. They do that because they are professional animators. But that doesn't mean that if you're not an animator, you can't do an animation. Maybe you want to tell a story, make a fun animation, the, a funny animation or something. You don't really need that much skill level to do it. You just have to know a little bit about the software and how to use it. And with this little trick, you can do a full animation that looks like this. And yeah, it looks it looks convincing. Let's let's put it that way. Uh, you can convince the viewer that the character is actually moving <laughs> because yeah, it moves. So let's say we have this little character here, this little guy here. What you have to do, you just have to select the the point where you want it to move like the point in time you know what I'm saying and create a new keyframe so the only thing you have to do in that keyframe you will erase the part of the body that you want it to move in this case is the arm and you redraw it again there you have it obviously we're not going to leave this like this because it looks uh, it looks bad you know it, it's not even animated <laughs> It just it's just two different drawings there so in order to make it an effect like it's an actual animation we can put a new keyframe just before the keyframe that we put <laughs> where the arm moves I hope you understand me I don't know and you do the same thing right you erase the arm or whatever part of the body is it is and what you want to do is you want to go here and click on this little square because what this is going to do is it going to give you like uh, a vision of the frames that the um, yeah the frames that are on the sides <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, so yeah what you want to do is you want to do something like this now I know this looks weird, but let's give it a try. So yeah, you probably have seen this effect in in films, animated films like in Warner Brothers or Disney maybe, I don't know. They use this effect sometimes to indicate movement because you know when you're actually filming a video, if you move, like the image distorts a little, right? And it has like that effect like that movement effect so then to make it even better what you want to do is you want to create here a new keyframe and on the first well like we have this one right on the next one like th this keyframe what would you want to do is you want to grab this thing the free transform tool and you want to make the the guy a little higher so now as you can see it has like a little bounce effect because he moves his arm but actually the the whole body moves a little bit too right so he does like that effect and you can add at the beginning of this another keyframe that is the opposite like you shrink it up you shrink the character a little bit you make it a little shorter so it has like this anticipation like he's going to move you know what I'm saying and it has this really cool effect like this animation <coughs> is basically the same thing that I showed you at the beginning of the video and I, I'm pretty sure you can do a whole animation just using this technique like I've made like three animations in my channel and I've used this technique quite a bit 
not not exactly like this i didn't do like the motion effect but i used like the bounce technique right to just move a part of the body and make it bounce a little bit so it looks like it's moving i use that in my animations like i don't really i'm not really that good at animating but if you use this technique trust me you can do whatever you want and it's going to look convincing <laughs> let's put it like that so yeah i hope this video helps you a lot because this is a trick that i personally used in my animations so it was helpful for me and yeah i hope to see you in the next videos bye